It's liquid lunch. We're just getting underway here on uh, Monday. It's Monday. Wait, what is the date? 21st today? All yeah, right. first day of summer. Official day, of, day summer. of summer. And now it's all downhill from here. The days get shorter and shorter as we approach December but 21st. The weather is nicer and nicer, and we've been spoiled. We got an early summer. Yeah, yeah, we did get an early summer, but... Uh, and mild winter, can't complain. Can't complain. Hopefully this G20 thing will just blow over and there'll be nothing, no big problems. Oh, and, you know what? Uh, I was a little bit worried about that today coming down. Yeah. I thought, oh, are they going to, you know, frisk me or something? <laughs> get out? I'm like, no, they didn't. Uh. <laughs> I'll tell you, Jeanette, I was out last night and I thought, I, saw, I thought there were like spies. I was sitting on a patio and I thought there were spies. In, really? Dressed as soccer fans, but they're really listening to see if everybody's raw raw about the G20 oh. or not. Which you really of course thought I that, am. or was that just the paranoia acting up? It was real paranoia. <laughs> real paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm wrong, but I think I was right. So, uh, but is, they, is that channel going to be affected during it? Are we going to have to shut down? Or? Uh, well, I think the plans are to uh, stay open. For oh, the whole good. Time and, uh, so I really don't think that everything should, you know, I, I agree that we, you know, have to be nice to our diplomats and accommodate them, but I really don't think that the whole world should shut down around it in the city because they are here to see the city. And when I heard about this man-made lake that they spent like, I don't know, $1.2 million on yeah. to emulate Muskoka when they're going to Muskoka yeah. only a few days afterwards, that, I'm sorry, I was totally against. I thought it was ridiculous. Come on, it's only a billion dollars that they spent for the security. Really? Yeah, oh, because we don't need that for health care or the homeless or anything like that. Oh, come on. I don't know. You're sounding like you're criticizing. Not That's double plus on good, Jeanette. Oh, double plus on good? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't think that that was a necessary expense. Yeah. I know. Nobody does. But, oh, well, hopefully we'll just hope that the, the G20 comes into town. They have a great meeting. They come up with some great plans to help people all around the world in all of their countries, and it'll all be fantastic. Well, that would be nice considering the state of some of the economies and some of the world issues today. It would be nice to just have, you know, peace and happiness and a good flow of, of capital, and everybody should just live their life to the best. Absolutely. So speaking of living life to the best, I heard you were away uh, for a couple of days. Where did you go? I did. I finally rewarded myself after three years of no vacations to a three-day getaway. And I've decided this is going to be the first of many because uh, hard work needs to be rewarded or you can't, you can't rejuvenate. No, you know what? That's exactly how I was feeling because I took all of last week off. I don't know. I oh, wasn't you took here. the whole week off. I came back just for, for you, you see, today. that's the luxury of owning your own station, right? And being a whole Not coast. exactly. You know, I had to, uh, you know, it ain't, it's not that easy to just take off because stuff I know. has to get done. But I really needed a little bit of a break after doing solid liquid lunch from January till now. So I just needed a little time off. and. So I got my VA all going and she took care of everything while I was gone, which was great. Wait, what's so VA? Virtual assistant. She's, she's great. She took care of all my emails while I was gone and everything so I didn't have to come home to a, oh, you know, a, a I know. barrage. And um, that was very nice. And I, I loved, I went up to Collingwood. I had an amazing time. I was at the Cranberry Resort. And I did some lovely activities. I went to the beach, went to the spa, the Scandinavian spa, full hour body massage, uh -oh. plus those baths. So it was really nice. I did get some R&R. &R. And you know what was the coolest? What? Well, I write for a publication called Women with Vision magazine. And I know you know the uh, publisher and owner, Lorraine Leslie. Is she up in Owen Sound or something like no, that? No, she's actually up in Collingwood. Oh, okay. So I go into the hotel to check in. And there's a stack of the new issue a bunch of them, right? Yeah. The new issue, which is the summer issue, Women with Vision magazine. Right. And I open it up, and there I am on page 15. Let me see this here. Because <laughs> I, you know, every, every, there's, every, I think I've been writing for her for like six or seven years every issue. That's a really Okay, nice but picture. I don't like that headshot. I got nice, oh, I have nice I like new it. headshots all over Facebook, LinkedIn, everything. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, that's good. And I've been really busy helping women entrepreneurs. So I've been doing um, some... Uh, a contract and I've been training three hours a day every day a new marketing topic and then doing some private consulting afterwards so it's been it was good and it was good to get away and I'm looking forward to getting away again are you yes I am okay that's good <laughs> yeah I'm looking forward to getting away so um, but we're here right now and we got a big show lined up so why don't yeah, we tell people who we've show. got on the show today first of all uh, we have this uh, Jeanette Burke your marketing magnet coming up at 1235 do we know her? 
<laughs> and what's she going to be talking about today? Today we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, when you pour your heart and soul into your emails or your newsletters or your blogs or your sales letters or even your tweets or um, posts on Facebook and um, you hit the send button. Yeah. And then you find only to discover nothing that happens. nobody's really reading them. All right. So we're going to get to, I want to, let's and save like up. It's such a hurt and pain and anguish for nothing, you know? So we're going to talk about how we can rectify that because it can be rectified. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So that's something everybody really needs to know. Yes. Right? So that's yes. part of, uh, it's an doing... essential part of your internet online marketing. Absolutely. Okay. So that's great. We got also Tanya Chernova coming in. No, we have our no? partner, oh, Joanna. Yeah, that's right. We changed that, didn't we? Joanna is coming in. I Joanna think we've had Andros. them both in here before, you know. They've both been here before. Uh, well, that's not what I've heard. But anyway, they're coming in to talk about co uh, Courageous Living, which is a an organization they founded, which is part speaking, mentoring, and coaching, and all kinds of great things to mentor, inspire, and empower women. And we're going to be talking okay, about... Okay, I'll just take that part of the show off. Um, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, no, men too. Well, Actually, you know, that's probably a good thing because we, we're going to balance this all out because we're yeah. going to be talking about men. That's too. right. First and foremost with uh, Elliot. Elliot Katz, author of Being the Strong Man a Woman Wants. We've got giveaways of his book today. And, you know, Elliot's uh, published now, I think, in almost 17 different languages around the world. Yeah. And great book. I know a little something about it. Got some inside info on that. I used to be his publicist. So. <laughs> what a coincidence. What a coincidence. Whoa, um, the miracles just keep and happening. And his marketing PR coach. But anyway, <laughs> so we've got, he's got some great publicity and I love the book and I'm really happy he's here talking about what women really want from their men and why. Okay, great. Yeah, okay. 